What's up, P Nation? Today, we are discovering LA's most unique donuts. This might be the best day of my life. Let's get started. <laughs> Pastry, like America's favorite breakfast item is the donut. And so I just think it's so fitting that we're having a donut food tour in LA, food capital of the United States. So it was like too hard of a topic to like just tackle tacos or like just tackle Asian food. So I was like, what does America want? What does America need in the morning? A donut. <laughs> they did have is an ube cake crumb donut. So I'm thinking that's gonna be just as good. And we got a red velvet donut. And it's not a part of the list, but we're also really hungry right now. <laughs> now I've never had an ube donut. I don't know if I've ever actually really had ube. And we did our research before we got here. I was like, is ube and taro the same thing? Apparently it is not. So ube is pretty much a, just a purple, a purple yam. I was gonna say sweet potato, but that's different too. It's a purple yam that's really popular in the Philippines. And Filipino desserts are like packed with ube. Like they love it. And this looks really good. This may be the most beautiful donut I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It smells amazing. It has an interesting smell and that might be the ube. I mean, I'm trying to like associate it to like a sweet potato. It tastes very creamy in a way. Oh, this is such a unique flavor. What are you thinking? It tastes like a donut. No, but what's the, like, You do you taste the flavor? It's very, very faint. I'm wondering if the purple in this isn't just food coloring, if it actually is the ube. But like, it tastes different, doesn't it? Like, it's not like a cake donut. It doesn't taste like vanilla. It doesn't taste like blueberry. This is a lot less sweet. I kind of like it more because cake donuts are normally like sweet because they put the glaze on them. Mmm. Spot on. This is amazing. downtown LA in Little Tokyo, which I didn't even know was a thing. Why have we not been to this neighborhood? I yet? have no idea. How we've not made it here is a mystery to me. But because this place is so unique and it's like so small and like it's really the epicenter of like anime culture and like we're seeing so many cool things here, I am so excited for this next stop. This is going to be maybe my favorite stop along the way. second spot on our donut extravaganza is Donatsu. And this place is really cool. One, it has really awesome branding. It's like all neon, and it's just, it's really, really cool. And they have some really unique donut flavors. So the first one we're trying is matcha, pistachio, and rose. And the last time we had rose was in China, probably in Dali, where they had all these like rose pastries. We had never experienced anything like it before. It was such a unique experience, such a unique flavor. Like, smells like old ladies. Tastes delicious. But it has like a really strong matcha flavor. I've never experienced matcha. It is unlike anything you've ever tasted. It's very earthy. It tastes like green tea, but like on like a next level. It is super strong, super pungent. Mixed with the rose, I can't I can't taste the pistachio at all. Although it might be contributing to some of the green color. But the rose, again, it is such a unique flavor. It like it's just it's very like aromatic. And so it's just a yeast donut, but like most of the flavor is all coming from these like dried rose petals and this matcha, very, very strong icing. This is pretty darn good. All right, now the reason why we came here is because they have a sesame flavored, not only sesame, black sesame flavored donut. And again, it's just a yeast donut, but have you ever heard of a sesame donut? Like it smells like sesame oil. This is going to be a completely unique experience and I've never seen a black donut. So this is just really cool. I think this is very unique. 
I, you can tell I'm very excited for this. Oh my God. It's sweet. It's really toasty in flavor. Very strong sesame oil flavor. It is delicious. The combination of sweet and like salt in this flavor, this is like what I'm looking for in like a, like a unique product, or like a unique donut, a unique treat. This is just, I've never had anything like it. And I mean, it's a shame that like the donut is such an American treat that like we don't have more options like this that incorporate like really strong Asian flavors. What? That is um, savory. You know, normally we think savory donuts this day and age, it's like maple bacon. Just put a piece of bacon on it, it makes it savory, but this is like a different level. This is the dragon fruit, which is right in my alley. And I love the orchid, apparently it's edible. So, do it. eat it, I guess, yeah. You know, why not? It's pink, it looks amazing. I'm really nervous about this flower. Okay, I don't care. Okay, it's like salad on donut. <laughs> It's getting there. It's very good dragon fruit flavor, which is hard to find in America. And I've never eaten an orchid, but I am happy to say that it does not taste bad. It kind of tastes like it smells. This is the hot rose water and pistachio, and I don't know what hot rose water is, but this is our second rose donut of the day, and that makes me very happy inside. <laughs> the lady, she was like, it's a new flavor. Also, donut friend. So we got these at donut friend. Donut friend. They are all vegan. All of their donuts are vegan. So vegan people rejoice. You have a donut place that sells only vegan donuts, and they're really good. She said it was a new flavor, and that it's very pungent. Ah. rose flavor is so strong. Like the matcha and rose, it was more like a matcha donut, you know, with like little rose like aspects. This is full on rose. It like fills your entire mouth. You feel like you're like breathing roses. Like that is so spectacular. Man, what a unique flavor. Mmm, mmm. That is really, really, really good. You don't even need the pistachios. I think it's probably just for color. That is really good. All right, this is right up my alley. Fresh strawberries. Normally, donut places like this, is whipped cream all over my fingers. Normally, donut places like this have like delays on the strawberries. I really appreciate that these are fresh. <laughs> I almost missed that one too. It just gets so good, and I get really like focused on how they taste, and I just want to eat the whole thing. Normally, you eat a whole donut. You have to keep in mind, we're doing this whole food tour in three hours. Like, that's crazy to eat this many donuts in three hours. So we have to just eat a little bit of each one so we can show you all of them. And this is all Leah's idea, and I feel like she's taking years off our life. Like, if it was a food tour up to me, we would've gone to like Chinatown, or a little Tokyo, and had some like noodles in like five different ways. But she wanted to go all out and go for donuts, so here we are. But they taste amazing. Oh, I am so full. And I'm like the person in my family that can eat the most sweets. Like, I could eat a whole cake. One Me time too. I ate a half gallon of Bluebell in one setting. Like, honestly, this is just proving too much for me. I feel really strong. <laughs> um, I don't my know stomach and my mind are good or clear. I'm focused on the task at hand. We have a few more stops, and I'm very excited for each one. Let's keep going. <laughs> very famous establishment to get the Donut Man. Oh! This thing is warm, you guys. I can feel it through the box. Oh my god. Honestly, this is like a loaf of bread. This is huge. This is the biggest apple fritter I think I've ever seen. So this thing is as big as my head. Now, when you go to Donut Man, 
they're very famous, like super famous for their strawberry, like fresh strawberry filled donut. Now that is out of season right now. And Donut Man has gotten a lot of attention over the years. So like, is it the most unique place to go? No, but price wise, this was only $4. And we're going to all these donut places today and donuts can add up pretty quickly here in LA. As special tribute to Donut Man, we're giving them our like value award. <laughs> for the day because this is an incredible size treat for only $4. <laughs> how do I how do I even tackle Only big bites allowed, you guys. Not only is it absolutely huge, it's really really good too. If I were to attempt to eat this entire thing, I think I would explode. Mm. Oh my god. It's really like a funnel cake from the state fair or Six Flags or whatever your amusement park of choice is. Like, it's so flaky. I prefer to do just the bits of donuts that they don't use with apples in them and fried. But this is another level because it's warm and there's really soft inside, really crispy outside. This is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be a traditional apple fritter. And it's huge and the value is great. I might eat this whole thing. It's huge, don't eat that whole thing. <laughs> Warm. As you can see, it says Route 66 on it. That's because this was in Glendora forever. No one went out that far to get Donut Man, but I did way back in the day. And now they have finally come to downtown Los Angeles to the Grand Central Market. So it's brought it to the masses. Okay, there is maybe a third left and Leah had two bites. So she's taking it away now. We're throwing this away. <laughs> I'm all donated out because I ate like almost the whole thing. My stomach him. hurts so bad. I warned you not to and you kept eating it and I kept eating it and we almost ate the whole thing. So now, to add to that stomach ache, we're gonna get a fried chicken donut. <laughs> to clarify, we're not getting a fried chicken donut. This place we're going to next has fried chicken and it has donuts. So we're going to Bernie's. curious about it. So we're here at Birdie's, but the sign just said pistachio. So I don't know if this is pistachio thyme, like as in T-H-Y-M-E, like the herb, or if it's just pistachio, but this is probably the greenest donut that I've ever seen or purchased that wasn't necessarily for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Very pistachio-y. It kind of has like a lemon or lime flavor to go along with it. But it's got like, I wanna like just try the icing. Just pistachio. But that's really good. This is a very fluffy donut. It's a yeast donut with pistachio glaze and roasted or toasted pistachios on top. This is a winner. LA donuts are expensive in nature, but like this is actually really, really good. Like the yeast donut itself is like very fluffy and it's kind of big, like it's thick. This is really good. It actually kind of reminds me of the mango tango at Voodoo Donuts, only because the taste is so strong. It kind of tastes like almost like some pistachio powder in the icing. And that's really making it come through. But I like the fluffy donuts, so this might be one of my favorites. Wow. Whew. That was like a lot of sugar, a lot of fried goodness. I regret nothing. It was so much fun. And our day of donut tours, we're finding unique donuts around LA has come to an end. Yes, but I can't say we're rejoicing, but we kind of are. <laughs> what was your favorite donut? On, honestly, like this black sesame donut at Donatsu was incredible. I had never tasted anything like that. It was so unique. That was definitely different, but the apple fritter, honestly, I don't even know, like it's so crazy because I was, I've had Donut Man before. I've had the strawberry donut. It's not that good. I wasn't gonna be a fan. So I was like, Leah, let's at least try it for the people because that's yeah. what they want to see. They want to see this big strawberry donut. But the apple fritter that was fresh out of the oven and gigantic and just like great value, I don't know, it swept me away. So It was the unexpected addition to our donut tour of LA. I, that, you're right. So I think it, it took you by surprise one. It was massive in size <laughs> and then it was like piping hot and warm and gooey and delicious on the inside. Yeah. So yeah, now it's like honorable mention in my book. Uh, okay, I'll give it an honorable, yes. Yeah, honorable I, mention. I will definitely do that, but dragon fruit was number one for me. Well, this was a great success. Again, I regret nothing, <laughs> but I think we're gonna go home and like lie in a sugar coma for the a few rest hours. of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. 
We've had so much fried food today. Glorious fried food that we don't regret at all. At least I don't. Zach's stomach might hurt a little bit. Gang gang. Mega gang. There's a man making noise in the background. Arla! Consistency is weird. Of the orchid or the donut? Oh, that's what you're asking me. DK's Donuts, if you can't serve hollow hollow donut, don't even put on your mini. That's what I gotta say about it.